Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is the full review of this interesting device of Dasun Company, Paperlike HDFT e-ink screen. In my last video I show you the content of the box and how to connect the screen to the computer. So if you missed the previous video, you can click here to watch it or you can find the link in the description below. This model is Paperlike HDFT. FT stands for front light and touch screen. It's not a classic LCD screen, but it uses a technology called e-ink. It's the same type of screen that you see on all the e-readers, Kindle, Kobo and other brands. Paperlike HDFT is a 13.3 inch e-ink display. It has an impressive resolution. 2200 by 1650 pixels with 207 ppi. This display is intended to be used as a screen for your computer, laptop, smartphone or tablet. It doesn't have any operative system or battery, so you can use it just by connecting to your device. Now let's start to use it. Once we connect the cable mini HDMI to the screen, it is immediately ready to be used in just one second and the LED light on the side will become green. Let's begin to use our Dasung for browsing the web. So let's open Firefox and I'm going to see the Wikipedia page for the e-ink technology. And I will try different speeds of scrolling to show you the refresh rate and the image quality. Now I'm going to do first a slow scrolling with the mouse wheel. Scrolling is very smooth, even the text looks good. Very fast refresh rate and no delay. Let's try a quicker scrolling with the keyboard. And it does a very good job as well. The ink looks more similar to the paper than LCD screen do because they don't have any backlight. It works reflecting the ambient light. That's why Dasun Paper Like is highly recommended if you spend hours in front of a computer screen and if you're experiencing troubles caused by the backlight of the LCD screens. It will protect your eyes and you won't have any eye strain. Now I want to tell you some important tips to work better with the Dasun Paper Like. We're going to increase the Windows DPI default value. You can right click on the desktop and select display settings. Scroll down this page and click on change the size of text, apps and other items. And I suggest you to select 200%. This value will make the interface elements larger and more readable. Please also be sure to select the correct resolution of Dasun monitor. You can use the monitor in two ways. Using it as a secondary monitor, so you can go to multiple displays and select extend these displays. So it will become an extension of your primary computer screen. Or using it in mirror mode. So you can duplicate your primary display and you can select duplicate these displays. In this video I will use the Dasung in mirror mode. The last suggestion I want to give you is to apply a white theme in Windows and disable any transparency effects. It will be sharper and cleaner. Lastly, it will look even better if you apply a white wallpaper on the background. In Dasung Paperlike HDFT we have three different quality modes. 
It means that you can switch between uh, three different grayscale levels and you will get a different look for text and images. For this test, I'm going to use two photos that I shot in my travels. The first photo was shot in the beautiful city of Venice, a corner of the city before the sunset. The default mode is M3 and is the one I'm using now. Before starting, let's clean the screen from any ghosting. The grayscale is very accurate and this mode will give you the best image quality and the most complete range of grays. Now let's switch to M2 mode, pressing the M button. This mode will improve the contrast and the sharpness. However, you can see that it will decrease the image quality. Instead, M1 mode, it's the lowest quality mode. It will show only two colors, black and white. Let's go back to M3 mode. Let's take another photo. Let's clear the screen. This shot was taken during my last travel in a temple in Chiang Mai, Thailand. You can see the excellent image quality. It's very crisp and sharp. Take a look even at the trees. The definition is very high. Now let's switch to M2 mode. Also in this photo, the contrast will become too high. The sky here is too bright and we cannot see this city here almost anymore. The picture anyway is still acceptable. Instead of switching to N1 mode, we have a draft quality image without any shades of grey, only black and white. I can suggest you to use this mode only if you are reading some text. Let's take a look one more time to M3 mode. And as you can see, you can enjoy beautiful black and white pictures. Another interesting new feature is that you can change the speed mode. You can do it by keeping pressed the M button and the plus or minus button. There are five speed levels available. Black plus plus, black plus, fast, fast plus and fast plus plus. Now I'm going to show you all the speed levels and I will use a particular website as requested by the user in my last video. Sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce his username. This is a very good example to show you how the text will look and the refresh rate performance. So let's start with the black plus plus. If you see here black plus plus is normal and you can clear it by pressing the C button. I'm going to do some quick scrolling with the mouse wheel. It has the darkest black level but the speed is really slow. You can see also the mouse speed, it's quite slow. Now I'm going to do some quicker scrolling with the keyboard, but as you can see, it's not good for scrolling web page. Then let's go to the black plus mode. You can clear the screen. The black is a little bit lighter but the refresh is still quite slow. This is the scrolling with the mouse wheel. Now I'm going to do a quick scrolling with the keyboard. Even the mouse movement is still not fluid. After that, we have the fast mode. This is a middle level between quality and speed. I'm going to do a quicker scrolling with the keyboard as well. Okay. 
The mouse speed is a lot better than before. But my favorite mode is Fast Plus. Fast Plus is the default one. I consider it to be the best balance between quality and speed. It gives a great sharpness, the black level is dark enough and we have a fast refresh rate without too much ghosting. You can see the speed of the mouse cursor is also quite fast and you have a very good response. The last mode is Fast++. Plus plus. It's the quickest mode you can have on your Dasung. As you can see, it's really really fast. You might have some little ghosting, but personally it doesn't affect the browsing experience. The refresh rate is amazing. And basically you don't have any delay. Even the mouse speed is very very smooth, as you can see here. If the text looks too light, for example here, you can increase the contrast to make it more readable. You can switch up to 9 levels of contrast just by pressing the plus button or the minus. Now it looks a lot better. Now let's go to see the Dasun performance for watching videos. For this review I decided to show you a very dynamic video. This is a very hard and extreme test for paper-like HDFT. Usually e-ink screens work well only with static images and they have a low refresh rate. So I'm going to start using the Fast Plus mode, the default one. I will leave the video playing for one minute, so you can judge by yourself. Let's clear the screen before starting. The video is very smooth and the quality is great. You can see that the trees are very sharp and detailed. The refresh rate is really impressive for speed and quality. Now we switch to Fast++ plus plus mode. Let's clear the ghosting. Let's go back to the beginning of the video. A little bit more faster. higher refresh rate but we can see maybe just a little bit of ghosting somewhere but it's not noticeable this is very good for watching video but you will have less details and a lower image quality the speed is amazing you can see all the movements are so smooth. Now let's go back to the beginning of the video. 
and we are going to test the fast mode now in fast mode we have a deeper black and a great image quality and sharpness Anyway, we have a lower refresh rate uh, and lags become more noticeable, but for watching video is still acceptable. In this part of the review I will skip black plus and black plus plus mode because in my opinion they will be too slow for watching videos. So let me show you again quickly the speed modes. So I'm going to start first with the fast mode, then I will switch to fast plus mode and fast plus plus mode. Fast plus Fast plus plus Fast Plus is my favorite mode for watching video. It is the best balance between image quality and a fast refresh rate. If you love reading ebooks on your PC, I strongly recommend you this screen. You can use this display for a long time without getting any eye strain. Believe me, this will be a relief for your eyes. So let's open an ebook. For example, I'm going to open the classic book The Little Prince. Let's try the scrolling a little bit. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's basically like using any reader, but you will have a giant e-ink display. It's incredibly fast and fluent. If you don't need to scroll quickly the pages, you can set the speed to black plus plus mode. This would be the best solution if you have picture or photos on the document you are reading. The refresh will be not so fast, but you will see sharper fonts with a more natural tone. It will make your reading experience enjoyable and very pleasant. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this is the paper-like touch version. 
This is the first model featured with the touchscreen by Dasun Company. So I will open the ebook just like I did before and I will interact with the screen. Let's try to do some scrolling. It's very fluid and smooth. The screen uses a capacitive touch. It works pretty well. It has a good sensitivity and a good response. If you want to zoom, you can pinch to zoom in or out. You can even highlight some word, double tapping. And you can do all the basic gestures depending on your operative system. You can use the touch even to work on files and folders. You can tap to launch any software. Or you can open a folder by double tapping on the screen. You can drag to select multiple files by lifting your fingers. You can copy or move some files. Or you can right click to display menus by touching and hold. The screen is mate and I don't have any trouble with the light reflection even if I switch on the lamp on my desk. Another good thing is that using the touch it doesn't leave any fingerprint on the screen. Now let's try to use the touch screen another way. I have a request by the user Manish Kumar Singh in my last video. He wants to know how this chess game looks like on the Dasung e-ink screen. Let's check that. Let me first say that I can't play chess. I don't know the rules, but I'm just doing that to show you how this game looks like. Let's start the game. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably I'm not doing the right way, <laughs> but this is just to have some fun. It's pretty funny playing by using the touch. Anyway, it looks very well since it's already in black and white. Pretty cool. Let's check now how is the typing experience on the Dasung Paperlike HDFT. Let's begin. For this test, I will use the Fast Plus Plus mode. In my opinion, this is the best mode for typing some text. Now I will type something quickly on the screen as we normally do. Now instead I will type very slowly, so you can hear every single tap on the keyboard and you will see in real time how much responsive and quick it is.
The latency is extremely low to be an e-ink screen, uh, like an LCD. As you can see, the input lag is quite near to zero. It looks very clean and sharp. Your eyes also will benefit and this screen will let you focus on the context without any distraction or eye strain caused by the backlight of the LCD monitors. In this model you can turn on the front light. It will be useful if you are using your computer at night. This is one of the features I was missing in my previous model Paperlike Pro, because it was necessary to use a lamp on my desk to illuminate the screen. So I'm going to show you how the front light works. Let's turn off the lights. You can turn on the front light by pressing the light button. This is a front light, not a back light. It means that the light is not coming from behind, which is common on an LCD screen, but it's focused on the top of the screen. This way it will not strain your eyes. The front light brightness is pretty uniform and well distributed all over the screen. You can also change the light color temperature. This one that you see is the white light, the default one. And pressing again the light button, it will switch from white light to warm light. Pressing again the light button, it will turn off. Not only that, you can also choose up to 9 levels of brightness. Let me show you. Let's turn on the front light again. You can change the brightness, keeping pressed the light button and pressing the plus or minus button. This is the maximum brightness level of the white mode. Let's switch to warm light. And usually when I turn on the front light, I set it to warm. It will be more relaxing for your eyes. I always set the brightness to a minimum level because it's more than enough to work with the screen at night. In this part of the video I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect the Dasun Paperlike to any Android device. This tablet is featured with a mini HDMI port. So I just need the adapter for the HDMI cable and I can simply connect them. Let's turn on the tablet and switch on the Dasun Paperlike. Very easy and ready to work out of the box. Let's compare also the performance between these two different screen technologies since the tablet has a classic LCD screen. So let's go to Wikipedia e-ink page. I'm starting using the fast plus mode. You can see a quick refresh rate. It's very good. Let's see quickly other pages. And the performance are so good. Let's switch now to fast plus plus mode. As you can see, this is really better than fast plus mode. It was already very quick, but this fast plus plus mode is amazing. There's just a little bit of ghosting in the background, but for browsing website is really really good. If you need performance, this is the perfect mode. Now I'm going to do the most important test. 
I will play a video so you will see how fast is the zoom paper like near to LCD screen. So let's click on play. As usual, the first mode I'm using is the Fast Plus mode. You can see that the lag is extremely low and you almost cannot see that. Even the sound is well synchronized with the video and there's no delay. The refresh rate is very good. I will let the video play in a few more seconds so you can do a clear compare. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the video and I will switch to fast plus plus mode. Let's play. You can see that now we have the maximum performance and the refresh rate is so fast to be an e-ink monitor. Even the sound is perfect, without any delay. So I will let the video play in a few more seconds, so you can enjoy that. The next thing that I want to check out in this video is the Dasun software options. Before starting, I would like to specify that their software is not required to make the screen working properly. It doesn't need any additional drivers because you can change all the settings directly on the screen buttons. In the software, you can assign few shortcuts on the keyboard to change some settings or to create some helpful automatic tasks. In this video, I will use the latest update version available, 1.0.8. Now, let's go to the main screen settings. The first option is for assigning a keyboard shortcut to clear manually the screen and remove the ghosting. The default combination is by keeping pressed Alt key and C on your keyboard. In the second option, you can decide how often the screen will automatically refresh the page. This will be helpful if you have ghosting problems on the screen. In this option here, you can automatically clear the ghosting every time you switch to another app. Below here, we find this button to switch quickly to the default Windows theme in white or light grey color. Using a white background on a black text, will improve the readability and will reduce the ghosting. On the right side of the screen, we have two more options of show cursor position. The first option will show a circle around the mouse by clicking the control key. The second option, show cursor position smartly, will show a circle around the cursor after you stop moving the mouse. Below, we have the contrast setting. In the first line, you can increase or decrease the contrast. You can increase moving the slider to the right or you can decrease moving the slider to the left. Or you can use the up and down arrows located on the right side of the slider. Remember you can also change the contrast by clicking on the plus or minus button on the screen itself. 
Below we find another interesting feature, you can change the contrast by setting a keyboard shortcut. The default combination is Alt plus P for increasing or Alt plus Q for decreasing. I use this option very often and it will improve my workflow since it's a very common action. After that we have the Smart Contrast feature. This is an interesting option where you can set the contrast value of several applications and the software will automatically adjust it when you will switch between them. So you can click here in this button. You need first to activate the option below, enable Smart Contrast. And from here you can right click to open the menu and click on Add. Choose the app from the list, for example Adobe Reader. And in the right menu you can choose the contrast value from 1 to 9. 1 is the lower contrast, 9 is the highest. Let's set to 1. Then you can add other software doing the same thing. Let's try Google Chrome. This is a nice feature if you need to switch often between apps that require different contrast values. After that we have this other option that they call Senior Performance Settings. It's basically the speed settings and in this menu you will find the 5 speed levels available that I showed you before in the video. Black++, plus plus, the darkest level that gives you the best image quality with a very low refresh. Black++, plus, Fast, Fast++ plus, and the quickest Fast++ plus plus, with a very very fast refresh rate but with a little lower image quality. Remember, you can also switch these settings by keeping press the M button and click on plus or minus. The next option is light setting. Here we have some options for the front light. Choosing light 1, you will turn on the white light and light 2 will switch to the warm light. On the right, you will have the slider where you can change the brightness of the front light up to 9 levels. Remember that you can switch the brightness also keeping the light button on the screen and clicking on plus or minus to decrease. In the option below you can enable a blue light filter on the LCD screen to reduce the eye strain. You need first to activate by ticking this box and then you can choose the temperature color by moving the slider on the right. I suggest you to activate this option only if you are using your Dasun paper like together with your LCD screen, so in extended mode. If you are using only the Dasung e-ink screen, it is not necessary since it will not emit any backlight or blue light. At the bottom of this screen, you can see the last three options. The first auto boot up will run the Dasung software automatically at Windows Startup. I strongly recommend you to enable this option. The second option is Enable e-ink screensaver. It will protect the service life of your Dasung screen. If you don't use the mouse or keyboard within 60 seconds, the monitor will stop refreshing. You need to move the mouse or use the keyboard to wake up the display. The last option, Save settings, will save automatically all the settings changes before you exit the software. I suggest you to enable all these three last options. They will be very useful. Dasung Paperlike HDFT is a really great device. I can confirm you that actually it's the fastest e-ink screen you can find in the market. So, I strongly recommend this product if you are light sensitive like me. Thank you for watching my video. This was a full review and a guide of Dasung Paperlike HDFT. If you like this review, please give thumbs up. For any question or particular request, please write a comment below. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest updates.